In this video clip, we will demonstrate the performance of a few different UHF RFID antennas. The first antenna is the S8658 made by Laird. This antenna comes standard with all TagSense RFID kits. The other two antennas are designed and manufactured by TagSense. There's a full patch antenna and a half patch antenna. The reader used to test these antennas is the Nano UHF module shown here. And the tag we will use is an old FlexWing tag sold by RF Identix, now called RF Agile in Michigan. This tag, even though it was one of the first tags released for EPC Gen 2, it uses the first generation Monza chip made by Impinge, but it still works quite well for benchmarking. Here we have the Nano UHF reader mounted in a vise and connected to the S8658 antenna. As you can see, power is connected in the corner and we have a serial cable connected to the PC. The data output from the reader can be viewed on the external monitor. Here I have in my hand two separate RFID labels with different IDs. If I wave the labels in front of the antenna, you can see that one of them is programmed to be all fives and the other one is programmed to be all fours. If I hold both of them in front of the antenna, both IDs appear. One thing you will notice is that if I rotate the tags with respect to the antenna, both tags can still be read. This is possible because the S8658 happens to be an antenna that has circular polarization, so it can read a tag in all orientations. For testing the reading range, we have this yardstick, which is three feet, and if you look carefully at the monitor, as I bring the tag closer to the antenna, you will see the ID change right there. So you can see the reading range of the Nano UHF reader with this particular antenna is a little bit over three feet. When measuring the reading range of a UHF RFID system, it is recommended that you do not stand behind the tag or have any metal objects nearby because they will reflect the power from the reader and distort your readings. Here we have the TagSense LP1 UHF RFID antenna. The LP1 is available in both European and North American frequencies. In this case, we happen to be using the European antenna for testing. This is because the European frequency band is more narrow, which provides more consistent results when using frequency hopping. For the purpose of range testing, we slowly bring the tag close to the antenna and if you watch the monitor you can see the ID change as soon as the tag is detected. From this we see that the LP1 gives us a reading range of approximately 40 centimeters or 16 inches. If I hold two tags at right angles to each other you'll notice that only one tag can be read at a time. If I hold my hand one way, one tag can be read. If I turn my hand the other way, the other tag is read. This is because the LP1 is a linearly polarized antenna, and the letters LP stand for linear polarization. Finally, we demonstrate the smallest UHF antenna, which is a TagSense HLP1. The HLP1 is a low-cost antenna designed for very short-range applications. Once again, we measure the reading range by slowly moving the tag towards the antenna and watching the monitor to see when the tag is detected. As we can see, the HLP1 has a reading range of approximately 22 centimeters or 9 inches. Finally, as you can see here, the HLP1 is also a linearly polarized antenna. 